Hey guys, what's up? This is Vic Manich. I'm going to show you guys how to take apart a tattoo machine, put it back together, just make sure it works. Okay. Looks good. Okay. So the things you will need is a tattoo machine, a little file, Allen wrenches, a grip, one that you only use to set your machine and to put it back together. This has never been used on anybody. A needle bar, just get a needle and cut off the the needles off, off, off of the bar. Okay. And you're gonna need some sort of screwdriver. This is the one I use. It's this little thing. Okay. Let's put these over here. How I do it is I start from the bottom so I know where everything goes. Okay, so take these off first. Put it just how they go, like that. Since we're starting at the bottom, what's next is the coils. We should probably take, take this one off first. I'm gonna take it all apart so, so you guys can see how it goes. I'll put it back together. Just like that. And the coils. Just loosen them up, because you still can't take them off anyways. Leave one on. Okay. This is how it goes. Okay. And what's next is the amateur bar. Put it in order that it goes. Okay. Then you take off this contact screw. And then you can take off the other coil. There you go, everything is off it. And if it's it's dirty at this time, you can uh, clean it. And I use one part bleach and nine parts water, distilled water is what I use. So if it was a dirty machine, you would spray it down, spray everything down, let it soak for a few minutes and then wipe it all off make sure it's all dry this one's clean okay. and how you put it back together is you start at the bottom okay so you, what goes first is this Part 
that's on. Next would be right here, which is the coils. Drop these screws in there. Drop them in there. Put the coils. And since the screws are dropped down there, you can do one at a time. To the other one before you push it out. And don't tighten them down all the way yet. Before you tighten them down all the way, make sure everything's gonna line back up. Yep, yep. And make sure you hold the coils down so they don't spin, so the inside part don't break. Hold it down. Make it as tight as you can. Always make sure you wear wear gloves when you're doing this. Okay, so we're going up. We did this. Did the coils. What's next? This is the contact post. Okay, screw. And then don't put it in in yet with the the eyelet because you got to put in the insulator. Okay. And then you put it on there. Then the post. You get your screw driver. Or you can hold the screwdriver and turn this. This is when you need the needle bar. Put it in. Turn it. So both Where the clip ends, where the clip cord goes in, make sure they're lined up. That's what this is for. And then you just tighten it down good. Okay, and they'll be lined up straight. Okay. So what's next? We're going up that coils, post. Armature bar. Just start it a little bit. Don't tighten it down all the way. Put this on there. Tighten it up just enough so where you can move it, but it won't fall out. Okay. Cause we'll tighten that up in a minute what's next contact screw put in the insulators first one on each side okay. screw sometimes you have to screw them in so you don't push out the other insulator Keep screwing it in. Then you put it in where it hook up, where it hooks up. Okay, and this is when you need your grip that you only use to do this okay put the needle bar in there 
drop it in there. Make sure it's on there tight. And you hook up your needle, just like you would. Okay, and this is how you set the armature bar is make sure it's right in the middle you see how it's in there say this is the the tube and this is the, the needle make sure it's it's not up against it on either side just right in the middle okay and before you tighten it all up just get your file file down the point just to get any anything off on the spring too just a little bit you would normally file it down while it's off but I forgot to do that and then I'm not gonna take it apart just to show you guys so that's what you can do okay make sure it's in the middle in or out mm -hmm. looks pretty good right there tighten it up a little bit and once it's snug make sure it's right where you want it which is right about there and you tighten it up all the way tighten it up by tightening it and pushing it with your thumb so it doesn't move right there and it looks pretty good there and then you tighten up the rest of the contact screw I like to run mine at the very edge and right now I can tell it's a little bit off by looking at it so loosen it up a little bit It's right in the middle. Okay, uh, let's hook it up. Right now it's at at six volts. I don't know if you can see six volts. Just a little more. This is for a liner. And that's a liner at six volts. That's running at six volts. I don't know if you can see it. 